perfect time to get ready for training. Knee pads, kick pads, elbow pads. Gotta gear up. This is weird! So you can see my bag here is completely unorganized. I can't never I see that. I can never find anything. I was diagnosed with arthritis at age 10. Around the time I started gymnastics. And although it's a lot more uncontrolled than it's been before, I still have to be careful of my joints, like my knuckles and elbows and knees and shoulders, things like that. Maybe a little bit more than the average wrestler. But it is what it is. You gotta make sure you're prepared. I feel like I feel like a woman when I'm getting ready for wrestling sometimes. It takes me so long to get ready sometimes. I feel like a... <coughs> Shout out to greeting everyone. Talk to some of the, uh, the more veteran guys and catch up about shows we may have done the past weekend or shows that are coming up or things like that. Maybe sharing knowledge or maybe just goofing around sometimes. myself and Black Baron don't get along all the time, you're still good people. You're still my brother in wrestling. Everybody does drills to stay sharp. Wrestling is unlike anything else. Bumping, running, jumping, flipping, falling, flying, punching, kicking, getting punched and kicked. It's crazy. You don't experience all this in football, cheerleading, basketball. I don't know. It's a lot. And the biggest thing is we have to we have to know how to do it all when the, the lights are on, when everyone's watching, when we're on pay-per-view, when we're on TV, in front of a live crowd. So of course we have to practice. Tackle, drop down, leapfrog, out of the corner. All this kind of stuff. Stop my main. After a while, I'll spend some time teaching the new guys. Sometimes we chain wrestle around. We might test each other a little bit. I might put him in a move. Maybe that I know he doesn't know how to get out. Let's make him figure it out. Make him think a little bit. Then he thinks of a way to get out, puts me in a hole. That's what wrestling is. It's one of my favorite aspects of wrestling. Just being on the mat and actually actually just going. And seeing who can who can last with the other one. The rising stars in the pro wrestling, in the pro wrestling world, right here, WWA4. It's always good to give back to some of the new guys, especially the ones that are hungry. I remember guys like Uha Nation, Jonathan Gresham, Air Fox, and even Black Baron. You know, would help me out and things like that, help me train, give me knowledge, and things like that. 
Mr. Hughes gave my basic training, but there's still so much more to learn outside, outside of that. So just like, just like a lot of guys, Rick King, the hooligans, a lot of guys taught me, passing things down to me. I think it's good to pass things down to, uh, to everyone else. Apparently, I don't do this for a living, but you know, I do this. <laughs> so it's like, it's awesome. Because like, people ask me, like, hey, so what do you do? And I'm like, I'm a professional wrestler. And they look at me and they're like, no, seriously, what do you do? Or they're like, really? Okay, all that back you're already crap, you know? But when they actually see what professional wrestling really is, and they see Especially when they see me in the ring, they're like, okay, we're taking, we're, you know, they're kind of taking it back. And they're like, you know what? Forget everything I know about wrestling because this is, you know, this really is wrestling firsthand. You know, another thing, it really flabbergasted me how many people think this canvas is soft. Do you hear that? Now imagine your body landing on this, night in, night out. You can't fake gravity, ladies and gentlemen. Get him off the top rope, 630 cent time for the sweat. You're bound to not feel good the next morning. That's all I'm saying. It's time for me, it's time for, for Coach Jacob to go back to work tomorrow. And uh, get back to these kids. You know, the off season and everything like that, but you know, we gotta get them ready for next year. I won't be around. I'm heading off to, uh, to pursue wrestling full time. And it's definitely a hard decision. I'm gonna miss them a lot, but you gotta go after your dreams. You gotta do what you gotta do. The kids are gonna be fine. You got a lot of great coaches at World Extreme. They'll be good. Sheree's gotta go out and um, think over the world, baby. Before I head out to Philadelphia, I still have another full day of coaching ahead of me at World Extreme Gymnastics. Can I turn these little humans into little championship heroes? Find out on the next episode of Charade KOD, Kick Out of Death.